Sometimes I have the pleasure of meeting famous dogs from my childhood. This is Clifford the Big Red Dog, more formally known as Oswin, and he's a four-year-old Great Pyrenees and Bernice Mountain Dog mix. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video, because it's going to be an epic transformation. Oswin lives on a farm, and he's a very dirty boy, so I'm bathing him twice today in our de-shedding shampoo, and then one deep conditioner in our de-shedding conditioner. I get a lot of questions about my shampoo nozzle, so if you're interested in purchasing one, they are fairly inexpensive, just follow the link in the description. On average, a dog of this size with this much coat takes me about 30 minutes just to bathe them. I not only want to remove as much undercoat as possible, but I also want him to be super soft when he's finished. That's why I'm adding some Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo from Petology today. I can tell that his personality is more like the Bernese Mountain Dog. Although both breeds are wonderful, the Bernese Mountain Dog are more friendly and outgoing with strangers, whereas the Great Pyrenees is more reserved and independent. Many of you have asked if I've ever had an issue with my plumbing. Both my shower and my bathtub have hair catchers in the drain so that no hair actually goes down the drain. I've never had an issue with my drains being clogged in all of the years that I have been grooming. After the better part of a decade, he was finally clean. And now it's time to spray him down in our quick dry spray and blow dry him with the high velocity dryer. When drying a dog with a coat like this, I use two different types of nozzles. First I use the flat nozzle, which helps to cover more surface area. And then I switch over to my thinner nozzle, which helps to remove more undercoat. It's pretty obvious that Oswin is completely unbothered by this whole experience. This is because the owner has actively brought their dog to the groomer from a young age on a frequent basis. He does not see this as a punishment, he sees it as a part of life. He has double dew claws on both of his back paws. Since the dew claws never touch the ground, they don't naturally file, which allows the quick to grow very long. Due to this, I'm unable to take them as short as I'd like. The problem with back dew claws is that they oftentimes get snagged and ripped off when a dog is playing. If you notice your dog has back dew claws, it's a good idea to have them removed when they get spayed or neutered. After I finish clipping his nails, I go through all of his matting with my dematter. And then I finish off his brush with my coral slicker brush. Something I thought was really cute about Oswin is that although he is a very big dog, he does have some pretty small paws. I tidy up his Grinch feet. I spray him down in our cranberry champagne cologne, and this big goofy boy is all finished. He was such a well-behaved dog and a joy to work with, and had a pretty incredible before and after. Do you think that your pet would make an awesome video for our channel? If you're willing to travel to the Niagara region of Ontario, we would love to hear from you. Please check out the description on how you can contact us. Today, for our pet of the day, 
we have Tuka, the nine-year-old rescue. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the outstanding Oswin.